Hello and welcome to the video review of the Transformers 2007 Voyager Class Blackout and Deluxe Class Scorponok. So here we are, and there they are. And first off, I just kind of want to take a quick look at the packaging. Um, just so you guys can also just get like a more understanding why I'm reviewing these two figures at the same time. I ordered them, or got them, in the two-pack. Um, this is the Decepticon Desert Attack two-pack that contains, again, the Blackout and Scorponok. Um... I managed to find this on eBay for like 50 bucks, which is, I think, a steal, because I wanted to get a Voyager Class Blackout, but I wanted to get it in box, and I already had a Deluxe Class Scorponok, and I couldn't find a Blackout that was, you know, mint in the box for under, like, 70 bucks, and I really didn't want to pay $70 for a Voyager Class. But I ended up finding this, and I'm like, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll pick it up. So, here's the packaging. Um, again, up front it says Decepticon Desert Attack. Got Blackout, Scorponok, and you got nice uh, pictures of their of their faces there. On this side, it just talks about the Automorph technology, which I still miss. I really wish they'd bring it back. It was definitely one of my favorite things from the 2007 line. Um, on this side, you just have, you know, your cross cells, and on the bottom, you just have your your cross cells and, and things like that. And then on the back, you have your product shots and then you have a bio. So if you wanna read it, there you go, you can read it. Um, nice pictures, except for the fact that he has a, uh, yeah, we'll, well, we'll get to that. Um, oh yeah, I also, when they did the tech specs, they don't do those anymore. I don't think in the uh, newer Transformers, except for maybe like the J1 reissues, I don't think they do all this stuff up here and i'm pretty sure yeah you had the conversions done here back when they used to tell you that you know it was like a i think one that was a legends two was a deluxe three was a voyager and four was a leader i believe that's how that went i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure that's how that goes but yeah enough about the packaging let's move on to the two figures so here we have blackout and scorponok and just to get this out of the way, they are the exact same if you were to buy them individually. I don't remember where my Scorponok, I have, I bought another Scorponok loose, and I don't know where that went, and I've never owned a 2007 Blackout, but from pictures I've seen and from other reviews I've seen, they are the exactly the same. There's no paint differences, there's no sculpting differences, they're, again, exactly the same. So. First, I figure we would take a quick look at Scorponok, so let's just get Blackout out the way. So here we have Scorponok in his Scorpion mode, and this is definitely a very, very solid figure. I think this is definitely one of the best 2007 figures, just for the fact that I think they did a bang-up job. I don't really think they could have done much better. <laughs> Maybe a little better on the paint apps, but other than that, it looks pretty cool. I really do like how he looks. Got the underside here. As far as articulation goes, um, each, I believe, yeah, each of these legs, ooh, nope, if these little legs are on ball joints right here, so you can move them up and down. Uh, the tail has a swivel, it's on a hedge joint here, hinge joint here, and a hinge joint here. Um, the head, come on, just looks up and down, it doesn't, uh, oops doesn't rotate or anything like that um as far as the arms go uh they're on a hedge here and hinge here they kind of have an elbow joint and you can rotate them around and as far as features goes he has these wheels right here well they're also on the top too but when you rotate the wheels you can kind of see what they what they're already doing you kind of just lay them down and as you push them across the table his little claws spin which I really do like. And another feature is you have this little lever right here. You just push that and it kind of like springs his little, I guess the, like the, the tip end of his tail forward, which is really nice. So, and again, he has a robot mode. Um, yeah, we'll just, we'll just get to that. So first thing you kind of want to do is take, take his head and then you just kind of bring that down. Um, the tail... You kind of want to you just bring that forward and then just like bring it up all the way. Um, now take these sexy side sections right here and just rotate them down like that. And you just want to rotate 
his arms down. And that's that's his this is supposed to be his robot mode and oh, I guess you really oh yeah you kind of have to and um yeah it's it's a thing it's it, it, yeah I don't think anybody displays him like this I know I definitely don't and I, he didn't have it in the movie I guess because he's a transformer Hasbro needed a way to get him to to transform but I mean. It, it, I'm glad they definitely prioritized a scorpion mode over this. I'm, gl I'm definitely glad they did that. Um, as far as articulation, uh, the arms are the exact same. The head doesn't really do anything except it looks up. And these are on ball joints. But other than that, it it really doesn't do anything. It just sits there. But that is about it for Scorponok for now. There's one more thing you can do with him. But I will show that off when we get to to black out, so, there's Scorponok, and I don't have the, or, or I don't have the Studio Series of Scorponok anywhere, uh, since I've gotten my Studio Series blackout, I have lost the Scorponok, so, I don't know where that's at, but, let's get put him off to the side, and bring him blackout, and, right off the bat, I really do like this helicopter mode, um, I think it looks really, really good, of course, you have, a uh, the compartment for Scorponok here in the back, but, Overall, I think the details are really, really nice. Got some nice yellow for the, you know, like a yellow trim for the window. A little bit of a gold, it's like a goldish brown color for the tip right there. Overall, very nice. Um, it does have, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but it does have like this, like this dirty, this kind of, you know, like this dirty look, which they did, that's painted on, and I do like that. It gives it like it's a bit like a weathered look, so that looks nice. Then you have like the red stripe over here. As far as features goes, the first thing, excuse me, you have this little plunger back here, and what you do with it is that you just press it, and when you do that, the propeller blades spin, which I think is really cool. Uh, the back ones, you have to spin those manually, those don't have a plunger to them or anything. And as far as Scorponok back here, there is a little button right there, and when you press that, Scorponok, there's a little baby Scorponok that drops out, which... I mean, it's not articulated at all. The only thing is that the tail right here, so a little bit of a spring. Um, it's got some nice uh, black washing though, but I mean, it's a very static figure. It just kind of sits there. I personally just keep him in, uh, kind of just stored in blackout. I don't ever actually take him out. So now, as far as the last gimmick that you can do with the, the deluxe Scorponok, if you just take his tail and you rotate it down underneath. You just take this, and there are two posts right here, and a port right there, and there's a post right there, and two ports right there. So you just kind of put them together. You just gotta be like Scorponok and just get it, get it in there. Okay, there we go. Oh, nope, I lied. See? Um, the connection on mine isn't exactly the strongest, and his legs love to come untabbed. Come on. Uh, oh, and I, because the camera's on, now you're not going to work for me. I see how it is. Uh, 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 there we go. Right. Nope. See, now that the camera's on, it's not going to work. Come on. Okay, I think I got it. So, you have him kind of underneath like that. And when you push the, the plunger... It makes his claws on both sides spin. Um, it's not a very solid connection, as you can see. It just kind of falls off, but you guys get the idea. So, And this section right here is a little loose. It doesn't look to tab in, but it's okay. We forgive it. It's a 2007 figure. so It's it's kind of like the G1 figures. All the issues they have, we excuse it because it's G1. Well, we excuse this because it's 2007. So I'll get Scorponok back up there. And, what's next? I guess we'll just get on to the transformation. So, first thing I like to do is take this whole back section and remove it. I just think it's out of the way and it just makes it easier. It just, there's a little tab right here and it just tabs in right there. So, you can just see how it just sits like so. So, you just want to remove, well, remove that, set them to the side for now. And then, you want to collapse this propellers in and there's a little arrow right there which tells you 
where to pinch so that way you can bring down the propellers and you have that look going on. And then for the last thing, at least on this section, you want to bring this little compartment around. Rotate it around and just tab it in like that. And that is all done. So getting back to the actual robot mode or to the actual robot portion, you want to take these sections, bring them out and rotate them like so. Then the next thing you want to do is you kind of want to just bring his legs down and untab the arms from the side. You want to rotate the waist around. And then this is where the automorph gimmick comes in. You want to you bring this section up and you bring the legs down and they'll tab in. You, know, you also want to flip in the landing gear. So the next thing you want to do is there's two tabs. Or there's a tab right here. And there's a slot right there. So you just want to accordion all of this kind of back. If I can get it to cooperate with me. Come on. There we go. There we go. So you just want to get that tabbed in. And again, because the camera's on, it's not going to work. There you go. So you just tab it in like that. And you want to do the same thing on the other side. And then you want to take his arm, bring it down, or to the front, take this paddle, bring it up to the side and bring down the fist. Same thing on the other side, bring down the arm, rotate the hand forward, and bring this panel up. Like, like so. So, you're almost done. Uh, then you want to take the his legs, you want to come down here, open up that panel, and flip out his heel spur, which is very difficult on mine. I can never get it to come out with ease, at least this one anyways. This one, oh, there we go. That one is a bit of a pain. You want to bring his toes down, and then you want to bring when you bring here, kind of get a close up on this. You, when you bring, take this knee pad, and when you bring it out, it'll bring this section right here, and it'll also spring that out. So again, you just want to bring that up, bring down the heel spur, and it sits. Let me see if I can show you this. This little notch right there. So when you bring that up, it'll sit. That panel will sit in that notch. Bring the toes down. Bring the little knee pad out. And just to kind of finish off the look, you want to take the this back section and just tab it in the same way. And there you go. There you have the 2007 Voyager Class Blackout in his robot mode. And all things considered, I really do like the robot mode. Um, I think it looks really good. I think he's got one of the more, like, kind of, at least this version you know this kind of you know the uh, iteration of him kind of looks a little like beefy kind of like he's built and i i just really like that so coming closer on the details he's got some nice detail i like i like the head sculpt and all the black on there i think that's really nice come down to the feet i mean yeah he's got a lot of a lot of backpack but it, it's okay it's a 2007 figure we forgive it right right and at least this one, his hands face forward. <clears throat> Studio Series version does not. Which I will compare the two soon. But overall, like I said, I really do like this version. Um, as far as uh, weaponry, if you take this section and you just, again, you just rip it off. I'll put him back there so he can actually stand. So you want to, what do you want to do? You want to take this section, bring that down like that, and then you just kind of want to bring out the propeller blades the propeller blades again like that and they do still spin so then what happens is he's supposed to it, the only problem i have on mine by the way i'm just going to get this out of the way now because you can see me repeatedly doing it is the waist connection is not the strongest in the world i mean you just grab him right here and it's it's not the strongest but moving on from that i want to take the section bring that up so you have a Part right here, a post right here, and a little handle right there. So what's supposed to happen is yeah, you plug that in, and then he's supposed to be able to hold on to that, you know, straighten all these propellers out. And then you have a weapon for him, which in theory is supposed to work, but because of how heavy this is, 
he just drops like that. Like, the, I don't think there's any actual way that I can get him to... I've never been able to get him to stand with... Yeah, and that's just going to fall off. But you guys, you get the idea. I've never been able to get him to stand with that. So let's just get that out the way for now, because now I want to talk about his articulation. So the head can rotate left to right, like so. Now there's nothing at the waist, but the arms mm, can move forward that much. They can move back that much. Uh, they can go out that much. He's got uh, elbow joint. He's got a bicep swivel. Nothing at the wrist. Legs can go forward that far. They can go back that far. Outward. Oh, stop it. They can go out that far, and these hip skirts will move out the way. And he's got 90 degree bend at the knee, and the feet don't do anything. So, let me get him back situated. For a quick comparison, here we have the 2007 Voyager Class Blackout and the Studio Series Leader Class Blackout. And let me get him all situated. I really don't like his legs at all. Okay, so now, how we have the two kind of side by side. And what are you looking at? There you go, face form. And as you can see, yes, he is more movie accurate. But as a figure, as a toy, I just prefer the 2007 one. I just think he has... I just I just like messing around with the 2007 one more than I do like the Studio Series one. At least, he's not a pain in the ass to transform. This guy is, and he has actual hands versus this guy where he's just doing the kind of the limp wrist, I guess you could say. So let's get him out the way. And for another... Little comparison here we have Blackout and the leader class Megatron. And I'll bring in, let me fix his toes again. And I'll bring in Scorponok so you can have a nice little family portrait going on. You just need like four or five more figures, which I will um, show a whole, uh, I guess, family portrait you could say after I'm all done with showing off the other Decepticons. So let's get Megatron out of the way. So for some final thoughts, I really do like this. I like I like both figures. I like the integration between the two and I like how, you know, you can kind of attach Scorponok to the bottom of Blackout and have, you know, that whole thing going on. I do like that. Now whether it works or not, a bit of a different story, but I like the idea. Um, I think out of the two, Scorponok is the best. I think he's the most movie accurate. I think just... And, and overall, I think he's one of the best figures to come out from the 2007 line. But overall, I really do love both figures. So if you are looking to, I guess, get a 2007 Blackout or just complete like a 2007 cast like I was, I say definitely go for them. It's, they're, they're really nice figures. Um, again, I found mine on eBay for like 50 bucks. I don't know if you would have any more luck with that but if you if you're looking uh, good luck so if you enjoyed the video please leave a like comment and if you want to see more toy reviews please consider subscribing and thank you for watching the video have a good one